National Cereals and Produce Board is a state corporation and is involved in warehousing and uh, post harvest management of grains. The national government, through the Act of 2019, established Warehousing Receipt System uh, Act, and uh, this actually gave way to warehousing receipt operators to operate warehouses in the country. Uh, national Cereals and Produce Board has been blessed because it has a lot of warehouses across the country, in all the counties uh, in the country. And uh, being a government barastatal has been uh, given the mandate to uh, actually be the lead in terms of wealth and receipt operator. When the government enacted the law, it gave room for wealth and receipt council to be established. A Wales and Receipt Council is a state corporation as well, which is actually mandated to supervise the warehousing receipt system in the country. So we are looking at warehousing receipt system and warehousing operators, both private and public in the country. Uh, this is a process where depositors, mostly farmers, uh, millers, and any other private uh, individual who does deal with grains uh, takes their produce to the warehousing operator licensed actually by the warehousing receipt council as well as uh, AFA, that is Agricultural Food Authority. The mandate now of the warehousing receipt council is to super supervise uh, the activities that are being undertaken by the warehousing operators. One being now the National Cereals and Produce Board, which is actually operating uh, warehouses uh, in the country. The earmarked so far warehousing uh, uh, receipt system uh, warehouses in the country by National Cereals and Produce Board include one in uh, our, uh, what we are calling Nairobi region. Uh, we have Nakuru, we have Narok, we have uh, in uh, M uh, Meru, and we have also in North Rift, that is uh, the sites of Eldred. The warehousing receipt system operates in such a way that the farmer deposits uh, the produce to the warehousing receipt, uh, that is an authorized and licensed warehousing operator, be it a private or be it a public uh, warehousing operator. The government is actually initiated the whole process for the warehousing receipt so that it helps the farmers uh, actually meet uh, you know, their expectations of their produce. That is to avoid a lot of value chain costs that come along with the handling of the grain or any other commodity that is traded in the warehousing receipt system. A warehouse operator ensures that proper quality checks are put in place so that uh, the commodities that are kept are meet the international standards as well as the East African uh, standards. Not forgetting that these are standards that are set by CAPS and other authorities that manages and supervises the warehousing uh, receipt system. Once the farmer uh, brings the, the grain into the wells, then what happens is that uh, the wells operators ensure that they are doing the crading, they are doing the drying, there is the weighing, there is the bagging, there is the fumigation, and there is the storage facilities provided by the wells operators. Once AFA now gives you the go ahead, you proceed as a wells operator to Wells in Receipt Council, where again the Wells in Receipt Council when you meet the regulations that are required, then licenses you and now gives go ahead the county governments. So you realize that even the county governments come on board and uh, once the county government, if your warehouse is within a county, then you will be licensed by the county government. Now once that is done, then you are given now a go ahead to receive the grains the farmers will not experience now the post-harvest uh, losses, which actually, according to statistics, they have shown that more than 30% of the produce 
of our farmers uh, actually uh, get spoiled because of the post-harvest handling. The market will be available and uh, now the aspect of what we call commodity exchange, that is commodity exchange comes on board. What happens is that once the maize is in our stores, then the receipt proves that uh, you are the owner and what is the value. So you will not be engaged as a farmer in terms of looking for the market, but uh, whoever has the receipt is able to actually look for the, 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 the market through the commodity exchange. Now, looking at this, it enables the um, you know, producers to access facilities like the banks, also like uh, the markets, international markets, as well as reducing costs of actually government support for agricultural marketing because of the arrangements between now the government and, and the farmers. We are also looking at uh, having an inbuilt uh, integrity. The players actually will, 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 will actually give uh, proper prices and uh, you know, access to actual farm inputs as well as uh, automation, farm automation in terms of uh, tractors, in terms of hand implements, uh, farm machineries and so on and so forth. But even for the small scale farmers, uh, post harvest losses, that is what we really, really want to emphasize that the post harvest losses will be reduced because you have a storage facility, the cost is very low, you have the fumigation bit of it, we have the drying bit of it, we have so quite a number of, of benefits that this should actually be uh, you know, shared to the public and any other trader. Because if you are a miller, for instance, and you don't have storage facilities in some uh, producing areas, you can still uh, have the maize actually placed in the warehousing receipt uh, system and uh, you store your, your, your maize there awaiting milling. So those are some of the benefits that come uh, along with the wealth in receipt uh, system. Uh, for further details, uh, the contacts that you are seeing in the screen, you can con contact us through our respective offices at any given time. Thank you.